A Nigerian American journalist and writer, Rudolph, has once again drafted a well written resignation letter to the President of Nigeria in the person of Bola Ahmed Tinibu. This draft was produced by the journalist in response to the ongoing controversies going on and calls from the president of Bola Ahmed Tinibu to resign in order to avoid potential disagreements through a Supreme Court ruling on impeachment by the National Assembly. Now it should be noted that our President Bola Metinibu has been facing challenges due to questions about his academic qualifications and alleged involvement in drug trafficking cases which the Federal Bureau of Investigation in FBI has set to release over 2,500 pages of criminal records in the coming days. And recently, Atiku Abubaka, who is the per- in the person of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, has also obtained a UB Boost Academic Credentials, credentials rather, through the United States District Court order to Chicago State University and these credentials, according to some journalists and political analysts, are, are, are saddled with discrepancies. Meanwhile, due to the allegations of forgery of certificates and other pending drug Trafficking charges, some Nigerians have called on our President Bola Ametinibu to resign. Some others believe that the Supreme Court, in a case filed by Atiku Abubakar and the People's, the Labour Party candidate, sorry, which is in the person of P2B, could restore the country's democracy by removing him from the office in response to the calls for his resignation. Randolph has decided to draft a comprehensive resignation letter for President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, saying that a fellow citizen's letter for resignation have always saying that a fellow citizen's resignation letter says fellow have always wanted to make something out of in his words i have always wanted to make something out of my life from a low upbringing in the remote part of the western nigeria i took a tortuous journey across the country and the world that finally brought me to this pinnacle of every man's ambition as the president of the federal republic of nigeria i am fully aware of how lucky I have been. I am humbled that only 16 men have been able to reach this height since Nigerians' independence, which is about 63 years ago. This is our president, Bola Ahmed, speaking. He said so many men and women died while trying. I want to thank all Nigerians who has helped me along the way to get to where I am today. You are truly a hero of this accomplishment. You have a special place in my heart. And I hope you also get people to support your mission in life the same way you have helped mine along a tedious journey like this, like this one. I have also made some mistakes, truth be told. I was not modern, 
I was not a modern citizen. I took short cuts in my youthful exuberance to shine and make my family proud of me. I did some things that I should not have done. I sincerely regret those things I did, which were unethical and unbecoming of someone. I would desire to lead other leaders if only getting things done is about morality and integrity and doing it right. Things I am sure that when you hear my real story, the odds that were stacked against me from breath, you will find in your heart the, the way to forgive the devil. The devil did not make me do this. If anything, it is me. And in every man, I have failed to suppress that which has led me astray. And it is not an excuse because I'm only... At present, Bola Ahmed Tinbu further stated that once resistance at a time that he has realized that he used this first part of his life to destroy the last opportunity that he had to come clean, that he was not sure that he would be able to recognize himself if he did what was wrong. He is truly sorry. In his words, regrettably, I took no pride in seeing myself as a subject of such a caricature. The personal irony that I felt was so dating at one point that I felt so ashamed to look at my grandchildren without pounding hearts that I wondered if they saw their grandfather as a crook and I did not wish that my ascension as president would unleash a toxic film on her beloved country. I did not come to destroy what was left of our fluttering country. Instead, I came despite my personal interest. I have always heard that the nation's interest is more important than mine. I will not let this country crumble on my watch. The truth is that I have lost the trust of so many of my, my allies and that of the wider world. And I do not see how I can overcome this handicap without wasting time and the major resources or mega resources of Nigeria. After carefully considering events in the last few days, I can no longer allow the destruction of my beloved country and my legacy to continue despite my moral lapses. My conscience will not let me stand by and watch my grandchildren tomorrow. Poisoned in this current situation, I have therefore decided to put the fate of over 220 million citizens of Nigeria above all things else. As a result, I'm resigning the position of the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by midnight today. I hope my resignation will allow Nigerians to heal, open a new page of integrity and truth, and make this day one to remember as the day goes by.